Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Odoo WooCommerce Connector by Emipro. In this video, I'll show you how to configure workflow settings for a WooCommerce instance in Odoo. For that, we will go to WooCommerce and scroll down to Configuration. And over here, you can see Sale Auto Workflow. So as you can see, currently no workflow settings have been configured. We can create a new workflow setting by clicking on create and these are the fields that we need to fill up in order to create a new workflow setting but let me first tell you what is the purpose of these workflow settings when you import orders from WooCommerce to Odoo you'll be processing those orders in Odoo and when you process those orders there will be various stages like uh, validating the order creating invoice validating invoice registering payment so for particular orders you may want to automate these order processing tasks as well and you'll be able to do that with the help of workflow settings i'll show you how so first thing that you need to do is give it a name you can give it any name by which you want it identified say workflow one after this we have a sales journal so whenever a customer invoice is created there will be an entry of that invoice in a particular sales journal you can configure which particular sales journal that will be uh, over here uh, of course you can configure sales journal in uh, accounting area but we won't go into that details after that you have order configuration under which you have shipping policy and invoicing policy so what kind of shipping policy you want to adopt for this particular workflow it has two options deliver each product when available and deliver all products at once so when shipping the products do you want to deliver all the products at once if that is so select this option and say a customer ordered five products and uh, three of them are available two of them are not available but you want to deliver the products as and when they are available you can select this option so you can select as per your relevance after that you have invoicing policy so how do you want to create invoices? Do you want to create them on the basis of ordered quantities or delivered quantities? A customer has ordered five quantities, so you want to create an invoice of five quantities altogether, or out of those five quantities, only uh, three are delivered, two are yet to be delivered, so you want to create an invoice based on delivered quantities, so you can select this option. So you can select whatever is relevant to you next and most important is workflow option this is the main part because over here you will decide how exactly do you wish to process your orders for this particular workflow so here the first option is validate order which is unchecked right now so if i keep this unchecked and uh, then i try to import uh, orders from woocommerce to odoo the orders will be imported and they will be available in quotations over here but if I check this particular option on that means that I have validated a particular order and a sales order for that order will be created after that there is the second stage that is create invoice so the sales order is created but the invoice is not generated so if I want to generate an invoice as well I should check this option on after generating the invoice of course the next step is validating the invoice so if you want just the invoice to be generated but not validated you can keep it checked up till here but if you also want to validate the invoice for this particular workflow you should check this option on as well now the order is validated the invoice is created the invoice is validated as well the, so the next step would be registering the payment so for certain payment methods you wouldn't want the order processing to automatically register payment if that is the case you should check this option on notice that when you check this option on uh, you have one more field over here that is to set which is payment journal of course when the payment is registered you need to make an entry into the payment journal so which particular payment journal it will be you can select it over here you can configure it in the account sections and based on your configuration the list will be available here so I'll just select bank so for this particular workflow 
whenever an order is imported the payment will be automatically registered and an entry for that will be created in the payment journal uh, after that if you want to force invoice date you can check this option as, as well what this will do is if this is checked on the invoice date and the order date will be forced to remain the same if you don't want that you can uncheck this option but if you want that to happen the invoice date and the order date to be same you should check this option on so based on your requirements you can configure the workflow as per your needs right now for the sake of this tutorial i'll uncheck these options and i'll just keep one thing checked that is validate order so whenever i import orders with workflow settings workflow 1 the order will be validated that is a sales order will be created automatically after that i will save this workflow setting and when i go here i'll be able to see the workflow setting and uh, i can see that the validate order is checked rest all is unchecked thank you for watching this video i hope the video was helpful ME Pro specializes in providing customization, consultancy and support for any and all services related to Odoo. So feel free to contact us on www.emeprotechnologies.com.